here I am, Mr. Maes is here with you, and we are solving equations with natural logarithms. So um, it's gonna, we're going to talk about the natural logarithm and what it is. So here's just some background information for you. Uh, we call um, the natural base of a logarithm is the number e, and I talked about this in class a little bit. Um, e is about 2.7. Uh, you can look this up in a calculator. I'll show you real quick how you can do this, how you can check the value of e in a calculator. And then um, our base being e, we have what's called a natural logarithm. And a natural logarithm is, uh, is used as a symbol or a notation of ln. So if you see ln x, that really means log base e of x. So uh, very quickly here, let me show you how to look at this on a calculator. First, in this little scientific calculator here on uh, my computer, I see that I have two buttons here. I have the LN button, and uh, let's see if I have the E button somewhere. I don't see the E button anywhere. So um, let's go and we can actually do the LN button. So if we want to do, you know, in this case, we're going to do 25 and want the LN of 25, we press it second. See, it says LN of 25. I don't know if you can see that on the little screen there. Uh, we got 3.21. I don't see, oh, right here, this EXP, that would be the E button um, on this calculator. Let's look at a different calculator, a graphing calculator, and see how that looks. So here I have my TI Inspire, and on my TI Inspire, what I'm going to do is, is right here, and I, I can't really zoom in here, so hopefully you can see this. Um, right here on my calculator, right above the uh, E, see you got an E to the X, and right above that is the LN. So if I wanted E, if I want to see the value of E, I click that, it gives me a power. Say so the power is 1 because I want e to the 1, which is just e, right? And I'll hit control enter so I can get a calculation. See, it's about 2.7, all right? So if I wanted e to any power, I can do that. And then give me the answer. If I want the natural log of anything, I can enter that in and I get the answer, all right? So those buttons are on, on pretty much any calculator. We use them a lot, actually. All right, so let's go back to my presentation here and let's take a look at some examples of how we would use this to solve some equations. So let's go and solve this equation and we're not doing any inequalities today, so we can kind of scratch those out. So here we go, uh, 3e to the negative 2x plus four equals 10. So we got that number e there that we got to deal with. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna isolate, isolate the e, okay, or isolate the one that has the um, exponent to it. So to do that, we're going to subtract 4. And for those of you um, that don't know what the word isolate means, isolate means get by itself. All right. Um, 10 minus 4 is 6. Divide by 3. And we get e to the negative 2x equals 2. So now that we get to this part, okay, that was step 1. Step 2 when we get to this part is we're going to take the natural log of both sides. All right, I'm gonna put this in quotes here. Okay. So we're gonna do ln of both sides. That looks like this is similar to what we did with the log, common log, okay? So ln, ln. Well, the reason we do ln is because um, if we bring this power down right here, because this is gonna come down, all right, it's gonna come down in front going to give me negative 2x ln of e equals ln of 2. Now what happens is ln of e, all right, ln of e, look, ln is log base e, right? ln of e is log base e of e. And there's a property that says if my base and my inside of my logarithm are equal, then this is going to be 1. So this ln of e, this just ends up being 1. So we have negative 2x equals ln of 2. That's why we took the ln and not the common log. All right? And then we're going to divide by negative 2. And then our answer is going to be x equals ln of 2 over negative 2. All right? So our goal here is to, get, is to kind of clear out that ln of e. So let's take a look. How, how about you try one? All right, hopefully you paused it and you tried it. Here's the solution. Again, ln of e is 1, right? Okay, let's try another one here. Re remember that ln means log base e. So if I have an ln equal to a number, I'm going to change this to log base e 
of 2x minus 8 equals 5. And then I'm going to change this into its, its uh, exponential form. e to the fifth equals 2x minus 8. All right, we're just converting from exponential to logarithm. I'm sorry, logarithm to exponential. We're gonna, and now we're going to solve for x. So we're going to add 8 to both sides. And then we're going to divide both sides by 2. And we're going to get e to the fifth plus 8 all over 2. Now, we really can't simplify that at all. All right, no, you cannot simplify 8 and 2. That doesn't work. You gotta, you'd have to do them both of them. But we can enter it in a calculator if we wanted to. All right, so why don't you try this practice problem here? It's just like the one I did before. Pause it now. All right, so let's look at the answer. Did you get e to the seventh minus three over four? All right. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Last example here, folks. All right, now we're going to use the properties of logarithms similar to what we did before. So if we have a minus, what do we do? That's right, we, we divide. And if we add two logarithms, we multiply. So this whole thing is going to end up as ln of x plus 6 over x minus 3. And this one on this side is going to end up as ln of 5 times 2. I'll write that out like this. Now remember the property that states that if I have two logarithms that have the same base, then that, all, that means that the insides can be put equal to each other. Well, these are logarithms with the same base. The base happens to be e. So I'm going to take the inside and put it equal to one of the... Oops, that's a minus. All right. So now that I have... <clears throat> excuse me. Just got to clear my throat. Okay. So <laughs> x minus 3 here. So I'm going um, to have 10 over 1, and I'm going to cross multiply... So I'm going to have x plus 6 times 1 equals 10 times x minus 3. So x plus 6 equals 10x minus 30. And now it's a matter of just solving for x. So I'm going to go and subtract x to both sides. I'm going to add 30. So I have 36 equals 9x. Divide by 9. x equals 3. Right? 3. 4. <laughs> 3. Uh, apparently can't do simple math today. Um, x equals 4. <laughs> All right. So that's how we would solve this using properties of logarithms because, again, a natural log is just a logarithm, right? Um, so let's take a look. And here is your final practice problem. So why don't you pause it? I don't know what this R means. Let's get rid of that here. Weird. I think it's it was made by a pirate. Solve each equation or inequality R. <laughs> anyway, go ahead and solve this. All right, here's your, here's your answer there. Uh, hopefully you got that solution. Um, and that's it, folks. Have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.